In 1990 and 1991, Hasbro released 12 G.I. Joes under the subtitle Sonic Fighters. Each backpack made four different sound effects. Or did they? I discovered secret hidden sound effects inside the Sonic Fighters backpacks. And in this video, I am going to show you what I found. In 1990, Hasbro released six Sonic Fighters figures. They were Tunnel Rat, Law, Dial Tone, Dodger, Viper, and a Lamprey. In 1991, Hasbro released another six Sonic Fighters figures, and their backpacks now contained two blinking LED lights to go along with the sound effects. They were Psych Out, Zap, Road Pig, Rock and Roll, Major Blood, and Lieutenant Falcon. Each figure came with an electronic backpack that made four different sound effects and various accessories and a figure stand. When these originally came out in 1990 and 1991, I bought four. I bought a complete Viper that was marked down on clearance, the only complete one I had. I bought a Zap that was marked on clearance because it was opened and all the accessories were missing. All I have is the figure and the backpack. And I bought two road pigs on clearance that were opened and the figures were missing, so all I had was the backpack and accessories. Later I got other Sonic Fighters backpacks on eBay. The original six had a removable battery cover so you can remove and replace the three button batteries. The later six that had LED lights did not have a battery cover and you had to unscrew the whole thing to get to the batteries. The circuit boards are held in place with two plastic pegs that had their tips melted flat. You can easily break off these two melted tips to get access to the front of the circuit board where the button contacts are. In the process of opening one to see if there were batteries in them, I popped the circuit board off the pegs and discovered there was not four contacts on the circuit board, there were eight. Each of the six backpacks of the first 1990 wave all had the same circuit boards. Each backpack was capable of making eight different sound effects, not four. It was just that Hasbro designed the backpacks with only four buttons randomly placed over the eight available. The second 1991 wave of six LED backpacks also has eight button contacts, but only four buttons are molded into the backpacks. Now, one of two things happened here. Either Hasbro thought each backpack would have its own unique circuit board, or they knew they were all going to have the same circuit board. If Hasbro thought each one was going to be unique, then why did they design the four buttons in a different place on each backpack to accommodate the same circuit board that was in each? I think it's clear that Hasbro knew each backpack were all going to use the same circuit board. So knowing that every circuit board was capable of making all eight sound effects, why did Hasbro purposely mold the backpacks to only have four buttons? Because Hasbro are jerks, that's why. I have eight of the 12 Sonic backpacks, five without LEDs and three with the LEDs. I have a duplicate backpack of Law and a duplicate backpack of the Viper. And I have three Road Pig backpacks. The two Road Pig backpacks I had when I was a kid, I had opened them and removed their LED lights. The one that does have the LED lights does not work. These backpacks don't work for whatever reasons. Let's pop apart the working backpacks and see all eight sound effects. The circuit boards have seven button contacts in the shape of an upside down U with an eighth button in the center. Every backpack has four random buttons of the eight buttons available. As you can see, all 12 Sonic Fighters backpacks fits with these eight button contacts on the circuit board. It's just that Hasbro designed each backpack to only have four of the eight buttons actually work. Even though a backpack that made all eight sound effects would have had more play value, if different backpacks made different combinations of sound effects, kids would have to buy more of them. Hasbro, you jerks. Let's see what we have. First, I have to remove all the old dead batteries. Some of them are corroded, some of them are rusted. Now I have to open all the new batteries. Thanks, eBay. The three LED backpacks work. 
Of the five regular backpacks, only three work. There are two different circuit boards, one in the backpacks without the LED lights and a different circuit board in the backpacks with the LED lights. Some of the eight sound effects in the 1990 circuit boards are the same as the 1991 LED circuit boards even though they're in different positions. Some of them are different, so we already know there are more than eight sound effects here. Let me demonstrate a couple of the buttons for you. The backpacks of Dial Tone, the Lamprey, and the Viper all share this button in common. They all make the same sound effect. The LED backpacks of Major Blood, Road Pig, and Zap all share this button in common. If I'm understanding the math right, because there are eight buttons, but only four are used on each backpack randomly, that means there are 70 possible button combinations even though only five are used among the six backpacks because Lamprey and Law have the exact same four button combination used. With the LED backpacks, no button patterns repeat, so six combinations are used of the 70 of those that are available, if my math is right. Let's open these up and see what all eight buttons are. I numbered the buttons from one to seven from left to right, with eight being the center button. Keep in mind I only have three of the six 1990 backpacks that I have and that actually work. Keep in mind that these backpacks are in different conditions, so some are louder than others. They are coming up on 30 years old. They are from 1990 and 1991, while this video is being made in 2018. Also keep in mind that the sound effects repeat if the connection is kept. I will also name the sound effects on screen based on what I think it is. As you can hear, all the circuit boards are the same. All are capable of making the same eight sound effects, even though Hasbro purposely only molded four buttons that work. Now let's do the 1991 backpacks that have the built-in LED lights. Keep in mind I only have three of the six backpacks, and the green Road Pig backpack that works has had the LED lights removed.
these 1991 circuit boards are different than the 1990 circuit boards we just saw. Some of the sound effects are different and some are the same but in a different location. I made a chart numbering the buttons 1 to 7 from left to right with 8 being the center button. In the 1990 set, 5 of the 6 backpacks all use button number 1, only dial tone does not have it. All but Dodger's backpack uses button number 6. Incredibly, buttons 3 and 4 are not used at all in the 1990 backpacks. Hasbro literally made electronic sound effects that is built into an electronic sound effect toy that is not physically possible to activate even though it's there and it works. Again, Hasbro, you jerks. In the 1991 LED backpacks, all but Psych Out uses button number 5, and all but Major Blood uses button number 8. Psych Out is the only backpack that uses button number 6, and none of the LED backpacks use button number 2 at all. Hasbro, you jerks. So unless you took these backpacks apart and touched the circuit board with a screwdriver to make a connection like I did, you have never heard these sound effects before. You're welcome. And there you go, the secret hidden sound effects inside G.I. Joe Sonic Fighter backpacks. Here's a few other odds and ends. Rock and Roll's backpack is the only backpack with a foot peg and was meant for a figure to stand on. None of the 1990 backpacks were meant to be a vehicle until the 1991 wave gave us a rocket pack, helicopter, and a robot tank. The 1990 backpacks have battery covers that can be switched around. The Viper's backpack suffers from brittle gold plastic syndrome. Gold colored plastic has a habit of becoming brittle over time and easily breaking. As you can see, parts of the backpack already broke off. Plus all the tabs on the battery cover already broke off too, on both of them. The 1990 backpacks came in two variations, one with a ring around the buttons and one without. I believe the one without was the first version released because the 1991 LED backpacks have the rings around the buttons too. Also, the ringless backpacks are molded different inside and is held together with two different screws instead of the standard four. Some people believe that if you push two buttons at the same time, you get a new sound effect. For example, on the Viper's backpack, if you push button number one and two at the same time, it triggers a sound effect of button number three, so you can actually hear the ringing phone. However, this was not designed this way. It's a technical glitch and most other button combinations won't do anything. If it were meant to do this, they would have promoted it that way instead of promoting it just having four sounds. I think almost every collector that knows this is because as kids they smashed more than one button at the same time just to see if it would do something. Well, what it does is a glitch. In 1991, Hasbro released four talking backpack figures called Talking Commanders. They were General Hawk, Stalker, Cobra Commander, and Overkill. These backpacks were permanently screwed onto the figures. In order to remove them, you had to remove screws to open the backpack, then remove more screws inside the backpack to unscrew it off the figure. Because of eBay, I have Stalker's backpack. Because they also have what looks like part of an upside down U, I opened these as well to make sure they didn't also have extra audio sound effects, but they only have four circuit board contacts and four buttons at work. The G.I. Joe book that shows off the 1991 LED backpacks and the Talking Commanders also shows a kid playing with a rifle under what they call official G.I. Joe battle gear. Then it says the rifle is not available. Then why are you showing it to me? Hasbro, you jerks. The Sonic Fighters card says you can use the Sonic backpack as a handheld weapon. But the Talking Commanders cards also say you can use the Sonic backpacks as a handheld weapon. How can I use a Talking Commander backpack as a handheld weapon when there's a figure screwed onto it? 
Hasbro, you jerks. The 1993 J. Joe headquarters promotes the fact that it also makes eight sound effects. I dragged mine out, and they're completely different sound effects. So now you know, and knowing is half the. Never mind. The 1993 J. Joe Star Brigade armor bot also promotes the fact that it makes sound effects. So I dragged mine out, and they're completely different sound effects. So now you know, and knowing is half the. Oh, forget it. Hey, I was looking for him. And him. Now let me get my drill. These backpacks don't work because of different damages. I have duplicate Viper backpacks, but because of brittle gold plastic syndrome, if I were to try to drill it, it would probably break. However, I have three Road Pig backpacks. By tracing where the missing buttons are, I can drill new holes for them. With duplicate backpacks that don't work, I can cut the rubber buttons apart to fill the holes. Let's see if this works. This is how they should have been made. Hasbro, you jerks. Sonic Fighters! Only G.I. Joe Sonic Fighters come with an electronic backpack with four different combat sounds, like laser rifles and machine guns. Sonic Fighters come with electronic backpack and four different combat sounds. Four different combat sounds? Mine has eight. Now. Yellow!